Hey guys, welcome to Farm Simulator. So, Wednesday's video. Got going in this field. I finished up the other two fields. Obviously, I realise my mistake in this one. And this is the issue I've had with this tractor. As soon as it gets dirty, it makes this noise. Highly irritating. So, I'm now going to have to sell it. And I'm probably going to get a new tractor in. I was waiting for it to do this again, um, to pass judgment. Unfortunately, it's going to have to go, so uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we are back. You can see, it fixed just, just by selling it, it fixed it, that's great. So, uh, let's go shopping again. It's a shame I was kind of like that tractor, but uh, it's going to screw up like that. It has to go. Hmm. You guys are probably wondering what I'm hmm hitting at. Forty grand. I do. Also, what I shall do. I shall remove this tractor, so uh, it'll be gone. Thought I had some more realistic from white. Well. There's a glitch in the map on this point where it'll mess up the camera on the tractor. Well, this tractor's by uh, BM Modern, I want to say, if I remember correctly. Little nose heavy, I think. So. Yeah. It's okay with that, but as soon as I put that on. Oh, that's too funny. No, but. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to get it. <laughs> uh, this tractor can't handle much weight on the front by looks at it. Get the harvest going again. Or oh, harvest done. Okay. 
care for some of you that will no doubt bitch and moan about Ah, oh, you're driving in the fields, it's not realistic. Well, uh, I had no option. <laughs> I really didn't on this one. As you can see, I've got the fuel tanker up there, and I've got the tractor with the trailer up there. It's a very tight field, this one. So I may post two videos today, just to give you guys the heads up. Someone I've been helping that is sort of very unfamiliar with this type of stuff. I guarantee, once I say this, you're gonna know who you are. I won't name names, but uh, his last computer, and I know many of you guys won't know this or know of this, was a Commodore 64. So, people that are like that, I don't mind helping. And I'm pretty sure I've had a mod, uh, mod how to install mods video out before. I'm not 100% though. So I'll check if I did. I may just redo it, but. We shall see. Come on, up you come. So that's what's going on. Uh, the field that you saw cultivating. Uh, in between running this, I'll get that tractor over there. See where this field is just to show you guys. Field 7. So, just above 15, the number 15, that's the main farmyard. After we've got these two fields, I shall start running in the. Uh, Great. The outside of this field, because it's so tight, I may manually run around with the discs first. I want to keep some of that grass. Oh, we may not. We shall see how. Oh. We'll just drop these. I uh, plan to just get a more realistic one anyway. Wait. This tractor here, I believe I did a mod review on it way back. Again, everything works inside, gauge wise. Speedo. Lights look legit. See the switch is being toggled. Hasn't got beacon, but this is kind of like the Unimog. If you like, I think it's the Unimog may have come from this eventually, or vice versa. Don't know which was first. Could be wrong, and probably am, but. This was the only real tractor Mercedes ever produced. I don't know what it is about a 
Also, the uh, captains around too. Probably become very familiar with this because it's going to be play a big part of the forestry mod. And for me, farming sim kind of lost its touch, but playing this map, I don't know why, but I think farming sim lost its touch because I was always having to do boring square fields, and I'm not now because of auto tractor. I mean, it's given Farmington and it's sparkle back for me. It was getting to a point, I'll be brutally honest, in the videos, it's kind of getting tiring doing the videos because I was getting bored of the map. Because it was just so plain. With this, you've got train, you've got hills, it's different. I know in North America. You may not have such role in farmland as we do over here, but this is our farmland, and it's nice being able to actually play it in a game. It really is. So here's the other field I did. It kind of caught some glimpses of me doing it yesterday on the when I was recording. Finished it off. I'm enjoying playing this off camera too. So there is going to be pro a lot of progress on and off. may put um, barley in these next. I'll have to see what crops in the rest of the fields. Of course, I'm not ready. I've not super timed it really much, other than to show you guys at once. Because Wyvern is on, on this map, so I've got to bear that in mind. So I won't start seeding the fields until I've got most of the, uh, or if not all of the grain off. I may do the ones that I had canola in. And then uh, they'll be harvesting first, and it'll be always some fields done before the others. But where it's got extended grow times, it's not going to wither real quick. That's kind of nice. I think that you did that instead of having no withering on for more realistic kind of gameplay. Still want to get a new disc uh, with the money I have. Uh, for the money I have from selling it, I probably will. Probably the same size, but just different. I'm not a fan of this texture. I uh, really don't like it. Okay, y you guys are bearing witness. Auto track is now enabled when I set it to go. Can't believe I did that yesterday. It was funny though. And go. That's going to lag, it's going to calculate the hectares. And we're good to go. So it's got this little bit here, then it's got that bit over there, it's probably got some more. Then I'll go around the field, uh, make sure I've got the rest of it. But, I do believe the... Oh yeah, it's reversing. Um, the cedar I've got, well, look. Actually, uh, cultivates two. But I don't know if it is capable of that in real life. How often you use that feature, I think you always cultivate it or plow it as well. So some of the fields I'll probably plow like this one, you could probably plow quite nicely. And for plowing, I'd have to use this tractor because it's got more guts. I'm going to put that out there now. I'm, I've been looking for a good modded plow. So if, does anyone know of a good plow that's maybe uh, six furrows? It's so not a real small one, but I don't want a stupidly big one because I'm doing it kind of realistic, so six furrows is probably enough for this type of tractor in this land. So if anyone's got a good mod, um, link it in the comments, private message me. I'd rather you link it in the comments because the private messages I don't really see them because I have to go in there and look I don't get notifications on my phone. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.